So, today I have a very short video for everybody, all five of you or so. Um, I'm going to be planting some pitaya uh, or um, dragon fruit, as I know it as. Um, or if you're Chinese or Mandarin speaking, then you probably know this as uh, Huo Long Guo, um, which means like fire dragon fruit. It's kind of a creative name. Um, so I have the, uh, the shell of a dragon fruit. I have two halves of a shell because I was eating it. Um, there's a woman who lives close by to me, a Chinese woman from Hong Kong, and her name I don't know, but we all call her Ai, which because that's like aunt in uh, Cantonese, and that's what they speak over there. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see, but uh, there are some seeds from the dragon fruit. If you've ever eaten a dragon fruit, um, then you would know that the flesh has many, many, many seeds in it, and um, they're all they're very black, they're small. I think you can see them in here. There's very good lighting. In any event, um, I'm going to basically just plant the shell, the shells in this pot right here that you can see, and I think that it will be uh, successful because I had, I've had seeds that I planted kind of willy-nilly from dragon fruit before, and they they went well, but I didn't water them as frequently as I should in this very hot weather um, in San Diego, so. Uh, I think I'll be a little bit more diligent this time. I filled this pot up with compost um, from my compost bin, which needs to be a little bit better hydrated, actually, because the heat is um, just just so draining. There's such a bad drought here in California. Anyways, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be planting the shells into this pot, and um, Hopefully they sprout, and if they do, you'll get an update, and if they don't, well, you'll also get an update because, I mean, I'll tell you that it didn't work out so well, so that you know not to do that. Or rather, um, you can try it yourself and tell me how it goes. Uh, I think that's all about. I'd like to say about that. Oh, uh, the, the dragon fruit that I have is the, um, is the species that has white flesh. Um, so... It's not the red flesh kind. It's got a mild flavor to it. I've got two others left, so if this doesn't work out, I might plant a couple more. And I've also got some seeds here from the um, from the uh, from the fruit itself that are just single, and I think I might plant those out in another um, another place. So this is what they look like. Um, I've got them sticking onto this little cap from a bottle. And I, so if I close up on here, you can see that they're um, they're very cute, very teardrop shaped, and um, I think they'll make a really great um, I think they'll make a really great plant. So they're like cacti, uh, dragon fruit. So when you grow them, they are a um, they're a succulent, and they um, they can be. Uh, you can you can take off cuttings and you can plant more and more so if I wanted to I could replace all of these morning glories that I have here um, which don't produce seeds like I said in my last video about morning glory and I could replace that all with dragon fruit if I so chose but I won't be doing that um, at least for the foreseeable future so that's all I have for today um, I guess I could videotape me putting in the shell but that's not particularly enjoyable, is it? Um, I suppose. Ah, what, what the heck? I'll just, I'll just do that here. It's not. I'm just gonna get my hands a little bit dirty, I suppose. And just place that like that. And, uh, that's just one of the shells. I guess I'll put the other one in here. This is really low tech. <laughs> um, oh, that's. That might not work. Very low tech design we have here uh, at the Xenthanol video channel. Um, normally I take a little bit more care. Actually, normally I take a lot more care with planting plants. I have a whole system that I like to do, but this is kind of off the cuff and uh, not representative. So, after saying that, um, you know, everybody's got their own opinion on the internet. 
so. So that's them. Um, as you can see, this compost had a lot of insects and other organisms coming out of it. You can probably tell from uh, the contents. There's some earwigs and some spiders that have been coming off of the compost. At least I've seen them. You know, I've put a lot of stuff in here that I just find around the garden that that I could compost in. And uh, yeah, so I'll let you know how it works out. See you soon. Thank you.